Since its release, I have been using GPT-4 non-stop, and I think some of its potential amazing abilities have yet to be discussed. GPT-4 is not just a step forward, it's a giant leap for AI. This paper leaves no stone unturned, as it provides a wealth of detailed information. So I will be covering the main ideas of the paper, from the impressive capabilities of the model, to its limitations and potential threat if not guided with care. Let's start with the most impressive thing about GPT-4. It can understand and process both images and text. It can take information from both images and text and turn it into useful applications. This means GPT-4 can do all sorts of things, like answering questions, creating a website or an app, generating text, even creative projects. We can even see it here turn a bad design into a functioning website. Take a photo of this mock-up, and then I'm going to send it to our Discord. And here we go. So we take now this output. So literally we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript. And in this picture, not only did it recognize the image and answer the question, it understood the humor behind it. And I think that's crazy. It even understood a static picture of what would happen if we cut the strings in the image. But what makes GPT-4 even more impressive is its large scale nature. It has been trained on a massive amount of data, which allows it to learn and understand complex patterns and relationships. Just like how we learn from lots of examples, GPT-4 has learned from a vast amount of information to become really, really powerful. And GPT-4 has been put to the test on exams and tasks that were originally designed for humans. And guess what? It has performed on a level that's on par with humans. I just find that mind-blowing. For instance, the paper highlights a simulated bar exam where GPT-4 scored in the top 10% of all test takers. This goes to show the impressive abilities of GPT-4 and opens a world of possibilities. And I am really unsure of the impact on jobs this technology will have. Since GPT-4 can perform at a human level on various benchmarks, it means it can be an incredible assistant in many tasks. Need answers to questions? GPT-4 can help. Looking for information? GPT-4 has got you covered. Want to generate text? GPT-4 is your creative partner. It's like having a genius friend that can assist in almost anything, never complains, and never get tired of my dumb questions. But of course, there are limits to its abilities. First, GPT-4 is not always fully reliable in the information it generates. Sometimes it may produce outputs that are not entirely accurate or just false. We call these hallucinations because it can generate things that aren't quite real. But this is an area that is continuously improving. Second, GPT-4 has a limited context window. This means it can only consider a specific amount of information when generating its outputs. Just like we have our own limits, GPT-4 also has boundaries of the amount of information it can use at a given time. But even within those limits, it does amazing things. And third, GPT-4 doesn't learn from experience in the same way that we humans do. You know how we gain knowledge from experiencing things and learning from our mistakes? Well, GPT-4 doesn't have that same ability, at least not yet. It doesn't have personal experiences to draw from when generating its outputs. Instead, it relies on the massive amount of data it was trained on. With ongoing research and improvements, these limitations will become smaller over time. And as part of the GPT-4 project, the researchers focused on developing something really cool. They created an infrastructure that works smoothly and consistently across different scales. They wanted to make sure that GPT-4 would perform predictably and reliably in various situations, no matter the size or complexity of the task at hand. By developing this amazing optimization method, they were able to accurately predict how GPT-4 would perform even when using models trained with a lot less computing power. And this predictable scaling is like having a magic formula that allows GPT-4 to adapt and excel regardless of the scale it's working on. It's an essential part of GPT-4. It ensures that it can handle tasks of different sizes with ease and precision, but with great power, comes great responsibility. The development and use of GPT-4 brings about brand new challenges in ensuring its safety and reliability. These challenges stem from both what it can do and what it can't do. 
One challenge arises from GPT-4 remarkable ability to generate text on par with humans. This is incredible. It also means that if not properly monitored, it could potentially be used to create harmful or misleading information. And its limitation also pose challenges for its safe use. For instance, its lack of full reliability means that we can't always guarantee the accuracy of its outputs. So don't trust whatever GPT-4 is saying. It might just be complete nonsense. And a big part of the research is tackling these safety challenges to uncover the secrets behind its potential impact on society. We are talking about making sure GPT-4 behaves itself and doesn't cause any trouble. We want to keep the benefits flowing while avoiding any unexpected word-shaking catastrophes. It's all about striking a balance between unleashing its power and ensuring it doesn't go wild and cause mayhem. So to be this good, GPT-4 has gone through some serious training. It's been fed a massive amount of data. This training helps GPT-4 becomes a master at recognizing patterns and relationships between words in many languages. GPT-4 is equipped with a powerful transformer architecture, just like the previous models. It allows it to predict the next token. Whether it's a word or a character, GPT-4 can predict it with mind-boggling accuracy. When GPT-4 encounters a sentence or a paragraph, it doesn't just passively read it. It analyzes the context, uses its incredible knowledge of language, and takes a shot at predicting what comes next, always one step ahead. With this pre-training, GPT-4 is able to understand and generate text in a way that feels almost human. But this was not enough. The secret to its insane performance is partially due to its post-training. After GPT-4's initial pre-training, it goes through a sort of transformation, the post-training alignment process. It enhances its abilities and makes it even more reliable. During this process, GPT-4 goes through a technique called reinforcement learning. GPT-4 receives feedback from human experts, guiding it to improve its performance it becomes better at separating fact from fiction, ensuring the accuracy of its outputs. GPT-4 also hones its behavior to align with what humans would desire. It learns to generate outputs that match our intentions and desires. In my video about ChatGPT, I explained in detail how reinforcement learning works. So through this post-training alignment process, GPT-4 evolves into a more reliable, factually accurate, and user-friendly language model. And every day, new applications of this technology are created. GPT-4 capabilities are like a window into the endless possibilities of AI. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.